What's up guys? Welcome back to the Home Slice. Welcome back to the Sharpening Shack. We've got another Rope of Death test for you today. If you saw my last video, you know that the only things to conquer this rope so far have been Dual Grit Maximat, sorry, Dual Grit M4, and Coarse Sharpened Maximat. So our old friend CPM M4 is back today with this Spyderco Military that is my beloved work knife. And we're going to see how it does with a coarse edge and compare the results of that with our original dual grit test of M4. If you've been following this death rope test, it's a big ship rope, it's full of sand and salt, it's real nasty, it drops rocks out of it as I cut it. So it's a really intense and not very scientific, but really fun edge test, it seems to prefer steels that have a high, uh, either a high carbide volume or a, a good balance between toughness and carbide. So anyway, those are the kinds of steels I like anyway. So let's get into it and see how this M4 does. I should mention this is 250 grit sharpened and stropped very lightly with some Mother's Mag Auto Polish on a denim, flat denim strop. It was sharpened on an easy lap diamond plate. It's similar to like a DMT or an Atoma. So very basic edge, only one stone. We'll see how it goes. Started out in the 250 range of best numbers. So let's do it. Oh my gosh. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why I love CPM M4. <laughs> I know there's fancier steels out there, but man, you put the right edge on this stuff, you get a uh, an example of it that is hardened quite well, and holy cow, this can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys. It really can. So, I hope you enjoyed that. It's really cool. Um, let me see. Um, initial thoughts after these first couple tests. I think that um, CPM M4 sort of lost that feeling of aggression faster, but it degraded to a working edge that was still cutting much better than Maxima. So when I did the Maxima test, it's like the middle portion was like not cutting at all anymore. And the middle portion on this is still cutting if you apply a little bit of extra pressure, which wasn't the case on Maxima. More pressure just made more squeaking noises. The, the more pressure you apply with this, um, the more you can squeeze a little bit of extra life. It's as if, um, the edge damage was not quite so profound in there. But, however, that said, if I got through those last fibers and I'm trying to use a little bit more of the heel or the tip because there's a little bit of edge life left there, which I have done with all of the knives and the ones that won't cut it just won't cut it. Like they dull at the tip, they dull at the heel, they're just dull everywhere. Um, with the CPM M4, when I came to those areas, 
because they had touched other parts of the rope, they weren't that much better. The, the wear resistance obviously wasn't as strong. Whereas when on Maximet, I switched from the belly of the blade to the tip or to the heel, it once again had this really aggressive like <laughs> sound of like sawing through really, really aggressively. So I mean, that, that kind of just confirms a bit of what we already know, but those carbides in Maximet are gonna present a really aggressive, edge and the there's not as much carbide volume in CPM M4 but the toughness is higher so this test sort of confirms what I would expect about this it did not feel as nice cutting through it with a brand new coarse edge with M4 as it did with a used dual grid edge and probably in the coming few weeks I'm going to test this again with a dual grid edge because I'm actually wondering if maybe my used dual grit edge had widened a little bit but it retained some aggression and if actually cutting through this rope having a bit of a wider more robust or or strong edge that still retains some aggression is actually the optimum or the best way to get through it I don't really know I'm wondering if maybe a fresh edge is is too keen for like hitting some of these particles and if the particles like damage the edge because it's so fine and it's not widened out i don't know oh my gosh <laughs> i forgot to do a best test <laughs> sorry one sec I'll try to get it in the middle of the edge where the wear is greatest Maximet was worn down to a level of 766 grams in the middle. So we'll see if this makes a fool of me and is more than that, or if my theory that the toughness caused the edge to hold a little bit better holds any weight. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. 606, so 160 grams less than the Maximet at the final measurement in the spot of highest impact. Very interesting, very cool. Anyway, in any case, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in, and for now I will just say peace out, guys. Take care.